Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those, Those vegan, vegan Guys. And welcome to another episode of Plot 25, our allotment adventures. If you saw the two lives that we did on today's Saturday as we're filming this, the two quick lives, you'll know that we've had a real malarkey this morning with our exhaust. Malarkey being the word of the day. We are 85 pounds lighter in cash and we're here at the allotment to do a bloody episode because we need to get some stuff done don't we? We've got to get some stuff done, it's a late start because of Paul. what Paul's just said, we've got something to eat, we are prepared and we're going to take you along as we always do, show you the progress and show you what we're up to today. If you've been following our progress, you know that our good friend Vanessa, uh, one of our fabulous subscribers, has made some fabulous little slate signs that go on little metal hangers. You'll have seen them around. She's done more. She's Let's... fabulous. Vanessa, these are outstanding. Outstanding. We absolutely love them. So we've got the honey in. <laughs> love that. We've got, of course, Gourd Grove. So, so cool. And uh, this might be my favorite one, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Utopia, look at the colors on that, it's gorgeous. <laughs> we are so appreciative, it's Vanessa, such a delightful thing. From the bottom of our hearts, darling, thank you. And I hope that you get as much joy seeing them here at the allotment as we do. Yeah. Knowing that you made them. We should say as well that that, that under normal circumstances that would have been on an unboxing, but we knew what they were, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, Vanessa had already said she was gonna do these, and so we unboxed them because we wanted to bring them down and get them on, because they look so beautiful already. So it's like, you know, oh, it's turned round, Salad Street one. Yeah. Turned round with wind. I tell you what, the sturdy things though, proper sturdy. And then I spent £11 on Amazon and had this made for Cider Shed. Just so, because we've got all this here, I just thought, I mean, that on there, because people have got stuff like posters and things, haven't they? So that's going up, they're going out, and. Are we going to plant Salad Street today, Jason? I don't know. I don't know. Should we leave that till next weekend? We'll see. We'll see. Come with us, you'll see too. Come, come.
just need to, yeah, you put it where you want it. Do you want it there? Yeah, 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 yeah. There. Yeah. Oh. Well, doesn't matter, just carry on. Yeah. One tiny little thing in there. So just put it where you want it. Yeah. Be mindful of the fact that uh, it's just. Just do that. Yeah. Show people, show people how clever you are. <laughs> Jason said I should show you how clever I am. So when we put held this up, this the colour on the back scrapes off, and there was a screw there, and we saw. I've just sprayed some yellow lime paint on the back. See? Yeah, you hold it on. And there we go. Oh, well, do you say so myself? Doesn't that look nice? It's and lovely. Any plan about it now? Yes. He mourned at me for spending £11. It's because I'm tight. <laughs> Easier, isn't it? Yeah, tons. of stones it like in the middle there okay so I'll show for them anyway I got these resin pebbles from Amazon because I know people use string to kind of separate areas and I thought nah not string it's boring let's have something fancy Jason said these will probably end up mixed in with the soil or stolen by the birds but we'll see. We will. Oh, them two are stuck together. <sighs> so 
so that's all lettuce there now. Right, that entire section is lettuce. Well, I should go and get a label. Lettuce, did you say? Yeah. All kinds of different lettuces. And there we go. A nice bright separator to tell us this is lettuce. And then whatever goes here. Now. What next do you reckon? Radish. Yeah, I'll do two lines of radish. Put that in that way. Well, wherever, yeah. In the middle there. Cool. Start pushing them back over if you want, Jay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good shout. You feel me? They don't need to be like dead deep, do they? No. Quite shallow, actually. It's better. According to uh, Mr. Dowding. Charles! Good old Charles! Radish, spinach. Uh, I'll get some chard in those next three rows, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Chard and rocket together.
point me in the right direction, it's stuff to steer in the middle. Yep. Jazz and rockets. My what goes. Just on my line. Get our signage up. What are we going to do with it, Bob? You said about drilling a hole in the middle. That should do it. Yeah? Yeah. It's not going anywhere. And then this one, Jay, I'm just going to doing the gap like we've done with the others. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, here. Is that okay? I think so, yeah. Looks good. And then just Utopia. Okay. Vanessa, they're, they're incredible. They're beautiful. That one is my favourite. Fabulous. Because we've got so many tomato plants, we're just going to chance it and see if we can put some directly into Utopia. We've already got two here. I'll put in three more and then we'll have five. And we'll just see how they go. Because the weather's warming up a bit now, so... You know, they might work. They might not, but that's what Utopia is all about. It's a big experiment. That's the great thing about it. True that. There we go, baby. What do you think of that? New house! You've got a new house now! See how they go. I hope they call. It'd be nice to think of them thriving in there. Won't it? We can only hope. Look at these buggers! 
<laughs> right. Right, we're done, Brums. Well, that's it for another, uh, it's Saturday today, like we said, that's it for after we think for the, the actual vlog. Uh, we're going to be back down here again tomorrow. Yes. Um, because there's an AGM. There's an annual general meeting of the allotment committee. Yes. And folk who have plots. Indeed. So we'll be down here tomorrow. Um, I don't want an awful lot to do with the committee, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, I'm going to probably do a bit of weeding. But nothing particularly exciting tomorrow. The exciting stuff's happened today. Um, once again, as we always say, it's been a pleasure to be down here. The weather picked up for us after yes. what was a pretty pants start to the day. Um, uh, we've got quite a lot done today. We uh, have. Quite a lot of planting. Uh, I think next weekend is going to be some serious repotting of some of the stuff we've got in here. Uh, repot well planted out. Yeah, sorry, right. that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. courgettes, cucumbers, repotting um, peppers, runner beans, week. peas, all that stuff will, should be going out next week into beds, and the rest of Salad Street because it leads into the green. So it'll be cauliflowers, cabbages, yes. so on. Um, but yeah, we've done well here today, consi considering, like you said, particularly it was such a shit start to the day. It was. Um, we weren't expecting to have to spend 85 quid, were yeah. we? No. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been a joy. You've seen what we've done. You've seen the progress. Um, hang around for a few seconds longer because with our little outro, I'll show you some close-ups of the progress of some of the stuff that we've not even looked at today. Like taters and onions and such. That stuff. Um, so we'll say goodbye here, but do stick around for the extra bits and join us on next week's uh, allotment adventure at Plot 25. Thank you so, so much for watching uh, and for liking and subscribing and for sharing all those things matter massively uh, I love you Mr Bromley love you mm -hmm. oh that reminds me of that picture by Helen there yeah whack it in here you probably saw it in the community tab but our lovely friend Helen Hawley HHR Design did this picture um, very much what we do at the end of every video yeah. uh, so I love you guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you again soon and until then please be excellent to yourselves and each other and get some bloody mud under your fingernails, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Bye, loves. Bye. <laughs>